It's hard to believe that the OP1 has been in the market for 10 years now. What's not hard to believe is that it's still one of the most sought out music making devices to date, despite its manufacturer price increase from $8.99 to $12.99. Some believe the OP1 is worth every penny, while others continue to write it off as a hipster plaything. Whatever your thoughts are on the OP1, fact is, this little guy fills a niche that no other piece of gear has yet to fill to this day. Hey guys, my name is Jade Wee, and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to use the OP-1 to loop external gear like guitar or synthesizers or anything that has an audio output. Technically the OP-1 is a sampler, and yes a synthesizer and a drum machine and a crazy, cool, music making device, but it's not really a looper. So one of the downsides of the OP-1 is that it doesn't have a count in. This means that as soon as I press record, it's going to start recording. It doesn't give me that 1, 2, 3, 4 like you would on other machines. This makes it very difficult to use as a looper, especially if you're using both hands, like if you're playing a stringed instrument or drums, but there is a workaround to this. All you have to do is set your bar, so I'm going to set 1 right there, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, out, and then we have a 4 bar loop. What you're going to want to do is you're going to press shift and left which means that you're going to start playing before the loop starts. So now when I press record and have my metronome turned on, I get that count in, but when it's done recording, I still get that perfect loop. So let's plug up some stuff and get to jamming. The setup goes as following. I have the audio out of the ukulele going into the Strymon Iridium to add some extra oomph, then out of the Iridium into the OP-1 input using a quarter inch to 3.5 cable. I'm also running the OP-1 output through this ground loop noise isolator that does wonders to noisy gear. So let's get started. Let's add a bit of texture using the synthesizer engine before we add another instrument.
hope that gave you guys a better understanding of how to use the OP-1 as a looper. The OP-1 is an amazing device, limited, but it does have its workarounds. At the end of the day, limitations breed creativity, and this is one of those devices that you really have to push yourself to be able to get the best out of it. That's it guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you like what I do, consider becoming a patron or checking out my sample packs, it really means a lot. Thank you guys, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.